as the sun peeks through. Good morning from Outer Banks. Today's gonna be a fun day, starting off fast. We're heading out, it's about 6.45 right now, and we're going on a horse tour this morning. <laughs> Making your bed. We'll be back. Pika. Last year we tried doing this horse tour and we got all the way out there. It took an hour long drive and then there was thunder and they're like, nah, you can come back tomorrow and we didn't get a chance to do it. So today's our day. Bless you. Oh yeah, different passenger with me. Much better looking one, just kidding. Bob. Bless you. No, it's up this way. We just keep heading north. You know how you tell this is North Clark, ma'am? Which way is the sunrise in the morning? East. Yep, so if you look over there, that's the east, and that's where the water is, and then it's, this is north. And this is the direction we came from. Remember we came from north? Yeah. King of the North. King of the North. I remember there was like a- Like the Sitco. And yeah, I remember the gas station out front of the yeah. place. Yep, where the Sitco is. Oh yeah. I see their trucks and stuff out here. We're gonna be on one of those trucks there, little buddy. Oh, get ready. this is what it's gonna be like. Party with these peeps here. Yeah, these guys are going on the tour. Yeah. Hey, Subaru drivers, they're good in my book. Yeah, I think that was back behind this. Oh, we're getting strapped in too. That's good. Did you know it's the best wild horse tour park now? No. The very best. <laughs> it's not in the car? Didn't think I would need it. I might not need it. This is giving me flashbacks to our hiking <laughs> experience. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I can't see him sliding down the windshield. <laughs> He's got the windshield waivers on and you're sliding down it. was very much part of the town at that point. Uh, it's about 85 of them, but they'd be hanging out in your backyard, be people at <laughs> house, be, you know, they not caring because nobody feeds them. They've got plenty of food and stuff around. Uh, they don't mm -hmm. need us to feed them. And they're not afraid of it because they've not been harnessed or lassoed or branded or given shots or chased by a helicopter or <laughs> any things we do to domestic horses. Mm -hmm. um, so they just don't have any fear of us. So they just act like a dog. It's like, okay, why are you looking at me? All right, I'll go back to eating. <laughs> this area that we're going to, only accessible by this road, which has kept the character of it the way it is. We didn't get the hard road until 1995. Uh, before that, we were actually driving all the way up the beach before we got to go where we were about to go. So we were talking about in a mile, we're going to get on the beach, and there's a fence there that goes out in the ocean, back into the sound, and a cattle break. And then one up on the Virginia line, way uh, about 10 miles away, same thing. 7,000 acres in between that we're going to be looking for these guys. Let's go have some fun. Watch your hats on this very first mile. I can't stop on the highway, highway to pick anything up. Once we're out on the beach, we're all good. Everybody's got a seatbelt on? Mm -hmm. All right. You'll understand why we like them once we get out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need wind chills. percent of the island is like this but you don't get to see a lot of it because there's not a lot of roads to go back into it this is a great place for the horses uh, to have their babies and to stay safe in a hurricane but also it's the horse highway in the winter because out there it's all brown there's no food there's no reason for them to go out there so they'll travel back and forth on that ridge through the trees and stuff as a way of traveling the uh grass it's in the sound on the other side that we're going to see too the milfoil grass is also a big winter food source for them so. you might want to take your hat off bud yeah yeah you might end up in the horse preserve <laughs> living a happy life hat be life horses wearing your hat <laughs> probably this is pretty awesome though Look at that view. 
Here it takes out. Beautiful. It's about three feet deep. It's about a mile and a half across. That's the uh, main line over there is the road coming down from DC, Richmond, Highway 158. The uh, all across the trees here, these are all great. There's the persimmon trees up there. So all sorts of food up here. Most of our horses have been up in Corova, but it looked like there were some tracks down here. Um, so keep your eyes open. Shout out horses right or left if you see some. Oh, it's cooler the horses or the ride? Uh -huh. It's the ride. <laughs> it's the ride. Uh, so, we are on public beach right here, so we actually can get out and oh. pop up the dune right now. That's Acorn. I'm not sure who's the lead mare. Exactly. And I'm not sure who the lead mare is. She'll usually be the one that's deciding where they're going. Um, could be the big bay over on the left hand side of here. Black horse up on the far right is looks like maybe a yearling, uh, maybe two or three years old. That looks like that. There's a little, so that's the federal preserve. Uh, oh, you got a treasure out there. Yeah. I see what you did. Oh. What's took you out of parts, man? Yeah, I Going across these is pretty wild. he should usually the lead mare will be up front staying in the back so he can watch everything and see everybody from behind and he's looking mighty proud wild horse fun does keep track of like who's with whose harem what new harems have formed all that kind of stuff who might have stolen whose mare <laughs> we are in the town of carova so c-a-r-o-v-a -A, carolina and virginia shoved together we're about two miles from virginia at this point uh, we're going to cut in here show you a place called the meadow and the pasture and uh, check out the fire station and see what's going on there. More of our Pelican Air Force coming by. These guys are actually an endangered species if you wouldn't know it here. There we go. He does have a bird on his back. Huh. So this whole area is called the pasture, the meadow. Um, it is all private property put aside again in another horse preserve. It goes about 700 acres all the way to that wind generator on the horizon if you can see it over there. And over on the right-hand side here, that's that dark green line of trees, same line of trees we saw up on Parker's Ridge, Maritime Forest. So it comes all the way down to here. The cricket is Thelma's skid from last year, um, and we're hoping that they name this one uh, Dragonfly, so we'll have a dragonfly and a cricket. Heck yeah. <laughs> I think 
this is Theo. Um, he's one of the older horses that is really showing the slope of the back um, and the broader rear end. He's about 11, we think. He lost his uh, harem about two years ago. He got sick in the spring and he lost his harem. He hadn't bothered to get him back. But he's had lots of kids, lots of mares, so we figure maybe he's just retired. We need a boat. If we get stuck out here, he said you have to push. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh. Yeah. Going back between being uh, with this group of youngsters and with another uh, group of uh, guys versus being back with his mom and dad. For some reason, he's gone back with his mom and dad. painted the color of grave digger that green and black color uh, it's dennis anderson's dad dennis is uh, the head of the team he, they're over in kershack that's where they build all the vehicles but his dad's got a house over here and back in the day uh he needed his house painted and while he was out of town they painted it the color of grave digger <laughs> he liked it so he kept, he's kept it that way repainted it several times since So the black horse that's right in the carport, he's right at that 12 hand limit of uh, between a pony and a horse. That's as, about as small as they get. Back out on the beach. It was good stuff. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you very much. And everybody come back and see us too. As you can imagine, it is always different. Oh, thank you, man. All right, thank you. And if you got any questions about the area, feel free to give us a shout. I'm glad to have you. So we recommend the tour? Yeah, definitely. Two thumbs up. Yeah. Other ones here. Is that our next thing? We're gonna go get some Dug Donuts. Ooh, they got iced coffee here, it. babe. Oh, I'm getting one. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a duck in here. It smells like a donut. Oh my gosh, it smells it's amazing, dude. Donut. Good golly. I pretty much want this donut here, mm -hmm. but, but just with the chocolate icing on it. Chocolate ice looks like it could be to die for. Yeah, I want the chocolate icing on that. Maybe. What's the boardwalk, though? There's a s'mores it. one. Oh my lord. I don't think you can go wrong here. Mm -hmm. Chocolate explosion. I want a chocolate confetti. Holy. Caramel fries. And you know, beach ball. Look at this. See one go off the edge there, that's gonna be awesome. They're gonna roll up that little hill. Oh, it's comparable. Wait for it. Yeah, it's comparable. Come on, baby. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's quite the production. Just pick them up before they drop. Don't you dare grab them. Don't you? No. Yes! <laughs> My life's complete. A two for one? Come on. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. 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 Donuts acquired. She drops them all. Oh, they're hot. Sweet sassy molasses. That's the one I wanted. Oh, I'm gonna eat that one actually. Hey, that was mine. Yeah. <laughs> Are they? Mm -hmm. Came right out of the fryer. I watched them. Was it a mistake opening that? Or a good idea opening that? I was going to open it anyway. <laughs> I knew you couldn't resist. Ah, ah, Are those all going to make it back? <laughs> or I've seen your style before. I'm trying where they're hot. Literally in the parking lot right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you. Oh my God. You, she, she has eating? the sweetest of sweet tooth. Which one is she eating? She's eating the one that has uh, sprinkles on it, has chocolate. S'mores. The one with chocolate and sprinkles. Okay, as long as she isn't <laughs> eating one that I think tastes good. That was epic. Let's try the coconut. What the heck? She ate the whole one? No, mm -hmm. she's going for another one now, I'm Clark. Good. The coconut. She's had two donuts now. Mm. Okay, I think I like the coconut better than the Mama's now trying the Homer Simpson. Great, now we have to go back in and get more donuts. Mm. Mm. Okay. Stop right now. Stop right mm. now. Right now. Right now. Oh, Close the life. donuts. She's using the glove box as like a, a airplane table, bro. Oh Stop. my god. <laughs> what is happening right now? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, are you the fresh donuts? Incredible. Stop right now. Yeah. Get over we were hoping to have some of those when we get home. Would be nice. Mm. Stop. The coconut one's my favorite. Stop right Guess now. she's not having any donuts when she gets home because she already had her share. That's right. Get out of there! Oh, what the is that? One. She's I going in it. for that coconut one again, Clark Ben. Stop right now! My son is screaming in the back right now. Okay, I'm done. okay there's uh, <laughs> there's what's left. I pictured you coming out and probably trying one. I didn't know you were going to eat all of them. <laughs> like all the donuts. I tried three. Okay, Homer. All right, let's get home so we all can try some donuts, not just one of us. Okay, Simpson. I see you. It feels like a luxury having a road now after today. This, feel, this feels like we've really made it. Oh, well, there you go, right through there. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a lifeguard out there.